TP Vision is the uh, Philips branded TV business. Uh, we uh, originally come from uh, Philips, uh, Royal Philips uh, Electronics, uh, but we've been uh, divested and are now uh, wholly owned by uh, TPV, the global leader in this place. We are a very uh, um, a dynamic business uh, in a very hectic consumer electronics environment. Uh, so there's a, a need to act very fast. Uh, we try to do it and at the same time we also look at uh, technologies and, and new uh, uh, technologies out there to see how we can incorporate that. In finance function, the uh, most uh, uh, the biggest challenge, of course, is uh, profitability and margin. Uh, it's a very uh, the, the consumer electronics industry is very uh, has very thin margins. Uh, so I need to control my costs. We need to monitor continuously. We cannot wait for month and close or quarter close. Yeah, I think the, the of course the cost element that's the the, the most important uh, one. It, it's uh, it's better to have it first of all centralized and then uh, outsourced in uh, uh, in low labor cost locations. So we rely on a partner with the knowledge, the knowledge of uh, uh, of building shared service centers, of uh, managing shared service centers, but also accounting knowledge. The relationship with Infosys is uh, uh, for me is is very important to keep that uh, uh, close. Um, in uh, a number of cases we rely on their internal expertise to, uh, to help us solve cases and, and give directions and, and uh, help us set uh, directors within the group. They are very responsive to, uh, to our needs. Together with uh, Infosys we have uh, um, uh, regular sessions where we look at uh, potential improvements and uh, decide on, on whether it's worth implementing it, whether there's a benefit for us uh, or not. The partnership has uh, absolutely delivered on, uh, on, on expectations. I, I think one of the, the key elements that we have set up together is a, a customer satisfaction uh, index where uh, our uh, in-house uh, controllers, where our country controllers have to rate the service of the shared service center. Um, and we have seen an, uh, an, an, a tremendous increase in, in rating, in, in scores, and with that also uh, uh, an increase in, in satisfaction. So it's not just the number, uh, the feedback I'm getting from the countries went from uh, criticism to being positive and, and uh, please make sure that we continue this relationship. I've participated in, in uh, a number of discussions in, uh, over the past couple of years about outsourcing. And uh, indeed, the, in general, the discussion goes towards bigger corporations. And, and you see bigger corporations go for uh, either uh, in-house or, or outsourcing, but for a center uh, of expertise, a, a shared service center. Um, which actually surprises me, because I think there's more need for smaller companies or mid-sized companies to do it. Um, I would call uh, our company uh, mid-size uh, and um, it, it is a big benefit uh, for me because uh, now um, uh, by having it uh, outsourced it's, it's more reliable. I don't have to worry about it myself. The benefits are the same for uh, small, mid and, and bigger companies. Is you, you bring it central so um, you have it, uh, uh, the, the expertise uh, uh, captured somewhere, um, you have it documented, uh, you have the process very well uh, monitored, there's KPIs in place that you monitor together. Um, it, it brings expertise to you that you not be able to, uh, to bring yourself.